Hi guys and welcome to today's video which is 21 Pokemon names for pets. Now I hate to follow a trend but growing up in the 90s I loved Pokemon and to see all the Pokemon again on Pokemon Go has just made me quite nostalgic. So I thought I'd put together a list of names that you could use for your pets. Now almost all of these names are unisex so I won't be splitting them up into male or female groups. So let's start off with our first name. So Abra is the first one, but I will also be including Kadabra and Alakazam as part of the list. So I'll just group them all together here. These are psychic Pokemon. Abra in particular likes to sleep the majority of the day, but has the ability to teleport when in danger. Sounds a lot like a Crested Gecko. Next up, we have the much-loved Charmander. His species, so to speak, is Lizard, so this is ideal for any of you guys out there trying to think of a name for your new reptile friend. Then we have Chikorita. Chikorita is really cute. It's a leaf-type Pokemon, and to me, it sounds like the name has quite a nice Spanish ring to it. Dratini is our next name. I think this one's really cute. By the way, I'm probably going to say the word cute far too much in this list. But anyway, Dratini is a dragon type Pokemon who has the ability to shed its skin. Next, we have Eevee. Eevee always reminded me of a little dog. So this name is pretty much ideal if you're thinking of a name for your new puppy. Talking of dogs, the next name is Growlithe. This Pokemon's category is Puppy, but it could easily be given to any pet with a fiery attitude. Then we have Hoppip. I love saying Hoppip. I think it's such a cute name, especially for animals who are known to hop or jump like rabbits or chinchillas. Jinx is our next name. This is, of course, after the slightly bizarre looking Pokemon who is in the category Human Shape which is uh, rather interesting. <laughs> this particular Pokemon is technically a female, however, I think the name Jinx works either way. Next, we have Kabuto. So Kabuto is a shellfish who has been regenerated from a fossil. Now, in all fairness, this Pokemon isn't much to look at, but I quite like its name, Kabuto. Then we have Lapras. This is a rather large water and ice Pokemon that slightly resembles a Plesiosaur. The next name on the list is technically two names and technically two separate Pokemon, but the names are very similar, so I've just put them as one. So it's Nidoran and Nidorina. I love these two names. So basically, Nidoran can be male or female, but if it's a female, it will evolve into a Nidorina. Of course, this list wouldn't be complete without Pikachu. So many people when I was younger named their first pets Pikachu. Pikachu is one of the most well-known and well-loved Pokemon. Next we have Seedra. So this is what Horsey evolves into. It comes under the category Dragon, but I think it's perfect for any aquatic pet, especially if you're lucky enough to have a seahorse. Then we have Smoochum. Okay, now this name I chose purely because this is the kind of word I would say when I'm like snuggling up to like a big fluffy rabbit and I'm like smooch them. It's just, it's too cute. It's too cute. Now this comes under the category kiss and is technically a girl, but I think this works for any extremely cute pet regardless of its gender. Next we have Snorlax. This is perfect for a pet who likes to sleep all of the time since Snorlax days consist of nothing more than sleeping and eating. Now, if I said to you, name a turtle-inspired Pokemon, your first answer would probably be Squirtle. And that's our next name. So I just imagine if you had like a little turtle or a little tortoise, this is like the perfect name for it. Next, we have Totodile. This one reminds me of how you'd probably try to say Crocodile when you're little. I think this would be awesome for a whole range of pet lizards. Then for all of my friends out there who are or will be gecko owners, I am glad to tell you there is a gecko Pokemon and it's called Trico. Trico is of course a wood gecko which has similar attributes with many other geckos including the ability to walk up walls. And finally, I have left the cutest name till last. It's a Wigglypuff. 100% when I hear this name, I just think of the big fluffy rabbit, cottontail. Just, ah, it's just too cute. You know that moment when something's just too cute? You can't even speak. Wigglypuff. That name defines that all. <laughs> so I think this is just the cutest name. If you have Hoppit, 
or Smoochum and Wigglypuff. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure you go and check out my other naming videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and goodbye. This is actually called The Heart of Vo. Now, I've seen this picture numerous times, but I never actually knew it's a new Caledonia. So I think this perfect...